Hello there, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and whatever you identify as. Today, it's not going to be the usual song review. It's going to be a previously planned, fully scripted, full album review and recap. We're mainly doing this for the cloud. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But also, because KSI is going to release his next album. And this will be a good recap. So buckle up your seatbelts, KSI fans, because this album review is, let's just say, a bit of a ride. Ah, yes, it's almost here. KSI's second studio album, All Over the Place, is almost here. And it's coming out on a Friday, like, hot damn. I'm going to have to cancel my party on the 16th. Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah, I barely have a social life. And I'm not going to any party on the 16th. Right. Uh, Yeah. Oh, right. I can't. Okay, I'm not going to lie to my audience either and say that I have a party, okay? Anyway. But instead of that stuff, I'm going to be enjoying KSI's new album, which hopefully will be something I enjoy. Now, it's been 10,080 hours. That's 420 days since his last album. So most of you (laughs) dum-dums must have forgotten about most of the songs on it. I did too, because I'm also a dum-dum. So, but I've put in the work to go through the entire album again and again, just so that you guys get a review of it. So freaking subscribe, dang it. If my editor is pushing himself to his limits for you guys. Now feels like a perfect time to tell you all about the small percent subscribe. Oh! Now I think it's worth noting that I'm not really a hip hop fan or pop fan. I mostly listen to math rock, punk and metal and stuff like that. KSI might be the only popular rapper I have a keen interest in and actually enjoy his music. Well, that's what I thought when I was making the script, but after that, I listened closely to the album and I don't really enjoy his music as much as I thought. I follow him because of his content on YouTube, okay? He's my, one of my favorite YouTubers, I'll be honest with you guys. But anyway, since you guys saw what I mainly listen to isn't pop and hip hop, but some of the things I say here might not be what your average popular music related channel might say. So let's get into every single track on this album, dissected and scored. At the end, we'll take the average of all of these scores and give this album a final score out of 10. So the first track on this album is What You Been On. Instrumental wise, it's got a catchy synth bass line that repeats throughout with the usual standard trap drums. It's, all, it's got UK drill ad-libs, not necessarily something I like, but it is something which requires some creativeness, which is something I respect. Lyrics are, well, to put it lightly, plain boring and generic. Just another track where a rapper is showing off and trying to prove the haters wrong while he isn't really spitting any good bars at all. I know if I'm being honest, actually there's no good flow or anything either. I thought JJ had moved on from that style of music, what you know, what I like to call YouTuber music. So I'm going to give this track a 3 out of 10. Bad start to a not so bad album. Next track, Cap. Cap is quite a generic trap beat, with the only thing keeping it alive being the distorted 808s. JJ's verse has unnecessary autotune and is repetitive. But I have to say he has delivered them with a good amount of swear gear <laughs> and passion, but nothing too notable or memorable. So the first feature on this album, Offset, member of Migos, quite a big feature actually in the hip hop world. Offset is not someone I really like or listen to at all, but in this song, he actually has a quite memorable catchy flow that really carries the song. So I'm going to give this song a 6 or a 10. Next track, Straight Banger. We have Poppin', which is one of the better tracks on this album. The beat is somewhat funky and fun. It's got some hard-hitting bass with trap drums that go quite well with JJ's voice and flow. Guys, if you don't, if, for those who don't know, JJ is basically KSI. That's what his YouTube fans call him. KSI's verse has got an absolute banger of the flow. And I'm going to be honest with you, I still love to listen to it. Till this day, since I heard this song for the first time, a smoke whoops verse has got a good flow that seems like it was written specifically for his beat. Um, his, his lyrics are generic, but the flow is not bad. You know, it, it makes you grow. Last and least, Lil Pump. I hated it at first, 
But now months later, I still don't even understand what he's saying. In fact, I play this to my younger brother as 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 a joke, because it because it makes us laugh. It's, it just it just like see, so what is he even saying <laughs> in half of the track? Editor sa roll the clip. So anyway, I give this track a seven out of ten. It's pretty good. Fourth list on the track is Houdini. This is one of the best songs on this album, and it's a perfectly executed track. I'm going to say it. The beat and the instrumental have got a cool, groovy bass in it. Um, you know, you got that. You got that one sound. I don't know if it's a synth with drum pad, with drum pad layered under it or what, but it's really good. They keep on using it again and again for shock effect. That's really cool, and the and some pretty hard drums as well. Overall, good instrumental. Swamji's hook is pretty dang catchy. Generic, yes, but catchy. You can't deny it. JJ has absolutely smashed it with the Nigerian accent, and how he switches up the rhythm of the beat and. He has delivered that flow to perfection. Then this is his first time recording an album. Well, I know he's recorded loads of songs and EPs before this, but still, you know, it's 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 worth respect when someone gives a not when someone perfectly delivers a flow that he doesn't, you know, usually rap a lot. Next, we got Theo Min singing the most British rap I've ever heard in a while. <laughs> She flexing in my sweater. People are conscious. I'm like the weather. Face we we got a body like she mena. Money on. But it's unique and it's my first time hearing it, and it helps someone to you know explore themselves rhythmically because that's what it's really all about. The way he deliver, the way he raps. So I love this track. I'm gonna give this track a seven point five out of ten. Fifth song on this album is Bad Lil Vibe featuring Jeremiah. Is that how you pronounce his name? I don't care. Jeremiah. I saw him as just another person who sings with all the auto tune in the world because he can't sing, and the melody that it's auto tuned to is quite obviously done by the producer himself. Jeremiah doesn't have anything to do with that. If Jeremiah was really involved in the process and probably did choose the mel, no melody that is auto tuned to, I respect him for that. But it's still quite generic. I wouldn't give him much more than the score I'm giving now. And if if he's not like expected, and I don't even see why people call these rappers musicians, because they don't come up with the melody, neither can they perform. Kesa's part in the song is not bad, but not really great either. I give this a four point five out of ten. I can see why no one really talks about this track at all. How I feel, it and that track with auto tune vocal runs, like JJ. Vocal runs. If you can't do them, just don't do them. Don't auto tune them. It sounds weird. Drill, drill. UK drill auto tune ad libs as well. Really, ad libs is a lot to be auto tune. You know, just drop the auto tune, right? And sing with a slightly lesser range. I mean, if that's all you can sing, fine. This would still sound great. Like the flow in this track is really good. I'm not gonna lie. The auto tune sort of ruins it. If JJ dropped the auto tune and took a few singing lessons and sang these himself. It would be a straight banger that I'd probably give a seven point five or a seven point two five, but it just sounds plain weird at many parts. I give this a five point two five or a ten. Next up, Wake Up Call feat Trippy Red, a very very catchy happy higher up higher up the range synth riff. I simply love it. And next, the hook not a bad hook at all from Trippy Red. Quite simple yet good. The drums hit hard. And you know, it's as if the snares have been mixed exactly the way I like it. That's how I like snares on in on in hip hop songs. JJ's voice on this is pretty good when it comes to the rhyme scheme. Nothing flow wise, and the change in the instrumental, you know, from that synth to something else. I'm not exactly sure what that instrument was. Was fun. Good, good job, production team. I gave this track a six point five out of ten. And just for this song, I'm going to mention the remix as well. JJ's voice on that remix is absolute fire. I give that a seven point five out of ten. Now I feel like he should have released that as the main song, without the uh, other people hopping on it. Ooh, ooh, 
baby next one is an interesting one because the artist who hopped on the track with jj is the one who's getting the exposure in a way jj is the feature because like a feature that gets someone uh, uh much more people in their fan base ayana ali i have to say she's quite talented as a performer and delivers her vocals with what seems to be very less effects and needing any studio work done obviously not any studio work done but like any major changes to it nothing very unique or new artistically pretty much like most pop singers out there but it's not a bad performer at all jj was on this it's not bad i respected because i think he's trying to give ayana lee the spotlight by complimenting her work and not just spitting with killer flow and like red hot bars like if he takes all this all spotlight what's the point of her being there you know what i mean that's not what he's trying to do he's trying to make the song memorable for her hook and her part that's something i respect and i give this song a solid 6 or a 10 it could still improve in lots of ways also big up to jj for using autotune but this time in a simple good way that i like he he uses it in a simple way by that i mean he isn't just going all this hard to do vocal runs and you no know, going much much more than his actual singing ranges you know and he's using it to complement his good rap in the background so if you use it again in songs use it like this where you're mainly rapping and using auto tune in in a way to complement your rap instead of uh, an entire mess of 10 whole tracks of vocals that are all auto tune out of which none of them sound great okay that's a bit harsh <laughs> next up domain in my opinion this is one of the most underrated tracks on the album the airy vocals well that's what it's called in garage band the airy vocals melody in the beat is sick and so are the drums on this great job by sx even on down like that the beat he made in the production is simply great and he alone produced this track at least as to the wikipedia pages jj's word play on the and flow on the track is actually pretty smart and pretty creative i'm just going to say it the song is actually a work of art i don't really care what everybody else says looking at it from a rap perspective the song is actually great go on to the genius page or go to his song and listen to the lyrics carefully it's actually pretty smart i don't usually say this about rappers you know that their work is a work of art so jj you got to be proud of this track i don't even know how to describe the way he delivers everything there's just so much feel and passion and hit hard slappy the bars <laughs> that sound so russian russian <laughs> for some reason i get this track an 8 out of 10 yes i really liked it i can listen to this all day that is my opinion and my taste why am i pronouncing shit so weird <laughs> my taste i mean i understand if you think hudini or something else down like that sounds much better than this that's your taste tell me down in the comments what do you feel about this album next we have down like that is ring walk song for the logan fight that and the song that got him into the uk mainstream it reached the number 10 pretty impressive essex is my favorite person on the track i'm just going to say it, i really like essex and i'm not saying this cuz jj mentioned him 69 times when the song came out no he's actually my f- favorite person on the track the beat he made is great and so is the production and the vocal range is surprisingly great and you can see even you can see that even live without auto tune he executes that range really really well jj's tone of his voice and the delivery you know just the way he says it like he means it is sick rick ross rapped well rick ross things you know that's the way he always does it and he's been doing it it's not bad i can see why a lot of people like it not like i can you no know, even i i even i vibe with it and lil baby i can really understand what he was mumbling i'm going to be honest And so I give this track a solid 7.5 out of 10. Next track, Undefeated. This track has some pretty, pretty cool Chinese-inspired instruments on it and hard trap claps and snares. Once again, mixed exactly the way I like it. So thanks, production team, once again. Once again, the auto-tune abuse kind of vocals. 
No, I no, Jay Chang gonna be honest with you. I really like the parts where it was your voice clean rapping, but whenever you abuse the auto tune and try to sing in this, it doesn't sound good either. It just sucks. <laughs> Listen, Jay, I just don't like it. I understand if you like that that sort of music much more than I do. I really have to say this intro battle might be one of the best on the album. So great job by Diego Ave. and all the others that produce this track this track gets a 6.0 out of 10 yes i know the producers because i like to i like production and most things and everything about production you know i i i i for almost every song i check to produced it like the majority of the production seems to be done by diego ave and um, also the mixing and mastering was done by two people i think mainly in the whole whole album um i'll probably drop the names my editor will drop it right here in the wikipedia page these two people and they've mixed jj's voice really really well and just everything together great job at the production team on this next millions millions has got a rather emotional and i don't know an instrumental that's really all about the feels and he's even said that this is a song that is really you know really just him to say talking about how he feels about this and it's really a track that's quite close to him not one of the ones where he's showing off or it's not it's not fight music as eminem would say once again a track where jj uses auto tune well just the way i like it he uses it in a it in a simple way in small parts here it's the chorus and it's used to complement the rap now obviously the rap flow isn't great but listen to what he's saying It really feels like he's talking to us, the people listening to the song, and if he's able to express him well to his audience like that, that means that means he's a good artist as well. And it also seems like this act. When I listen to it carefully, it seems like it's also kind of dedicated to his girlfriend. The last part of the song with the instruments alone really does hit different. I give this track a seven out of ten. Well, would you look at that? Your boy did an entire album review talking about each song specifically. So my favorite track on this is Domain and my least favorite track is What You Been On. And taking the average of all those these scores, I give this album a 6 out of 10. Now before you all go and tell me your opinions on the album whether my review and recap of this album was useful to you, I'd like to talk about one more thing. How you can improve in this next album so that I give him a higher score. I mean it's already been recorded so I can only hope he did these things. First thing don't abuse the bloody auto tune jj and try to make it sound cool by using many layers it doesn't make anything better i personally think it does not sound great instead use it how you how you did on tracks like millions and killer killer i understand this is the first album and you're still trying to find your sound in my opinion it sounds pretty bad and obviously i heard that you actually did take singing lessons so i think there will be less auto tune and more actually Are you actually singing? Next thing, don't get features on the on the album who don't really bring a lot of new listeners and are not very good musicians either. I'm talking about people like Jeremiah and Lil Pump. Lil Pump didn't really bring any of the numbers expected, and let's be honest, he's more of a joke than an artist. For those who are confused about why I don't talk about Lil Baby like this, he's actually a smart artist who sings legit stuff in his rap. It's just that a person like me can't understand what he's saying. cuz he's mumbling it and the guy's got 20 million monthly listeners so people like him i think are pretty useful to the album like cuz 20 million is pretty pretty big instrumental wise the whole production team please use more banger happy sounding synth instrumentals like in wake up call i'm not saying the other one is bad but i'm just saying you guys didn't use that sort of instrumental a lot and it should have cuz cuz it is just so good and keep up the great string instrumental beats like on undefeated and the synth bass grooves were really catchy and melodic as well i like that and when just is recording a song please tell him when he goes overboard with the auto tuned ad libs i respect him for trying things new things out and being himself but it doesn't really sound like anything revolutionary at all so anyway thank you guys for sticking till the end and watching i know this is my usual type of video it's much longer as well So tell me your thoughts on the album. This is just my opinions. Maybe with all of the plays I'll give you just 7 or a 7.5 out of 10. And in case you didn't know, I'm going to be uploading every single day for two whole weeks when all of the plays comes out 
because we'll be reviewing a song a day and uploading the reviews immediately just so that you guys get song good song reviews every day. Well, okay, maybe not every single day, but we will be reviewing, doing our best to review every single track on that album, even if it takes a month. Thanks for watching. Take care and peace.